It's early July, so that can only mean one thing. New Warsaw update. It's called the Dream update, but does the name do justice to what is inside the update? Let's find out. When we look at the blog post, it's not a very big update at first, but some of this stuff is very significant in fact. Firstly, we get the Anarchist, a brand new role. Oh wait, it's been tested since November 2022. Well, it's not that new clearly, but at least we have it as an unlockable role now. The Anarchist is an advanced role of the Fool, like the Headhunter, which by the way is the first new voting role since 2018. It wins by getting three voting phases without a lynch, but if a villager is killed by another villager, so that includes both lynching villagers and shooting villagers, then the Anarchist can use the Revolt ability, which lets him skip a voting phase for that win condition. It's important to note that roles that can skip voting phases like the Pacifist, the Wolf Pacifist, do not count for the Anarchist. This addition is amazing, even though it is just this one role, it's definitely the best one they could have chosen of the five available ones. Then a small change has been made to temporary weekly roll cards. You can no longer receive rolls you already own. This is a much requested change and it has made it in this update. You may wonder what happens if you have less than 4 rolls left to get. Well in that case you will always get the same 1 to 3 rolls. In my instance I only did not have the anarchist so instead of getting 3 random advanced rolls I just get this one card but with the anarchist which means I technically don't need to get it myself for a while. Another thing that has bugged players are tedious, hard, boring daily challenges and admittedly everyone has different preferences when it comes to playing the game. If you don't feel like playing as a solo killer, something I could relate to, then with the new daily challenge shuffle vouchers, which you can get in daily rewards, you can now shuffle your daily challenges. Do note that there are two categories. One is the role challenges and two is the non-role challenges. If you choose to get rid of your win as a solo role challenge, you will be guaranteed to get another role related challenge and not get something with giving roses for example. Before we go to the countless role changes in this update though, let's take a look at the last major change which is the fleeing system. Fleeing was already changed recently, but now departures of players are delayed until the start of the next phase. This flee delay goes for any scenario except for the first day in which the game is looking for a hero replacement of course. If you enjoyed this update video so far, then hit that subscribe button. I make videos about every update that releases and by subscribing, you make sure you don't miss out on the next major news in and around the game and you also help me reach my goals. With 10k subs, I will visit the office of Walsall in Germany and film it for you. If Philip allows me, of course. Back to the role changes, we have a baffling 20 changes to take a look at, plus a new soundtrack that you will also get to listen to. You know what? Let's rank the changes. 20. Wolf Shaman can enchant other werewolves. Truly a very scenario based change, I can only imagine this is useful in aura games with alpha werewolves or so, but am I missing the point here? Nineteen zombies bypassing tough guy protection. The only good thing about this is that the tough guy can now be converted, but still, I think that they could have done this differently. E.g., the tough guy sees the zombie that attacked him, and if the zombie dies, the tough guy dies too and stays villager. But if the zombie doesn't die that day, then the zombie will successfully convert the tough guy. In this way, the tough guy gets to choose between becoming a zombie or ratting out the zombie and staying village but die. 18. Werewolves can no longer kill a werewolf sided lurker. This change is also a very minor and requires a bunch of idiots or instigated wolf to do this, but I have seen it happen. 17. Preacher now needs to reveal himself before extra votes are counted. I have seen hate on this change and I do get that it's not always ideal to reveal yourself and make yourself a target, but I also think that being able to hide can be very useful, in particular in zombie games. 16. Werewolf fan review is more noticeable. This was definitely required, it was very easy to miss out on a werewolf fan revealing themselves to you. 15. Finalist system message includes team of that player. Another small change for fission. 14. 
priest can no longer kill werewolf lurkers. That makes sense. Lurkers, like sorcerers, are just not true werewolves. 13. Muted players only show first message with dots. This is good against spammers and as you can see, as a muted player you can still chat but it has this light shade which clearly indicates that it has not been sent to the village. 12. Siren and Arson is bypassing all protections. To be honest, I'm not sure how to feel about this, but I definitely think it is justified for the arsonist and for the siren it just really needs a more transformative change in my opinion to make this role perfect. 11. Baker's bread will now stick around even if the baker dies. Previously, bakers who died at night would not pass their bread to the second player. This is a good change, also funny bun. Bun. 10. Conjurers and grave robbers can now see the role of the review player if they take Passi or Vigilante. This aligns well with the idea of a used ability upon death or an unused ability, so this change definitely makes sense. 9. Sec leader has now better game throne protection. This means that villagers with abilities that could have harmed the leader like Avenger and Marksman have their abilities cleared when they are converted by the sec leader who they have selected. Also, when leader and member are jailed by Warden, the member can no longer get the weapon. 8. Players with cards from fortune tellers will have their true roles revealed upon fortune tellers death if they have not revealed their own role quite yet. Now this is a great change. Ever since the re-implementation of the FT as a Laugmuff advanced role, I have wanted to get a death related ability too and here we have it. This adds strategy to the role as well as giving out late right before you think you are gonna get killed could be detrimental to the evils. 7. Sec leaders have unlimited private messages. More tools to communicate and strategize. 6. Fool scribes can now target themselves. Even though you rather don't die of course, once again it can technically heavily benefit your own team when the village doesn't know that the scribe already died. 5. Pacifist and Wolf Pacifist have a more neutral announcement. This was my biggest flaw with the changes last update. It felt unfinished and now it is finished. 4. Toxic Wolf can select at day instead of at night. This is a massive buff for my boy the Toxic Wolf which is definitely needed to bring it on par with the Shadow Wolf and the Werewolf Berserker. 3. Instigated Junior and Split Wolf can tag other werewolves. Another W, it makes the tag even more flexible. I'm not sure whether the instigator team might get 2 OP now. It's probably gonna be a very minor thing. 2. Storm Wolves now show other werewolves' votes and don't affect other werewolves' perks. This is a needed buff for the Storm Wolf, one of the most hated roles in the game. I'm happy that it is leaning towards being more useful rather than just being annoying and a troll role. 1. Swamp Wolf ability blocks village abilities during the day. This is a massive thing and really fits nicely with the role blocking theme of the whole Nightmare Werewolf role tree. Either way, let's end this video with the new soundtrack that you can admire when you play the evil detective at nighttime. It's already one of my favorites.